What is going on, y'all? Welcome to another edition of NBA Top Prize Picks Plays presented by Prize Picks. As always, I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crash Bets. We had a two and one night last night, guys. Zach Levine over four and a half rebounds missed. I don't know if you guys checked out his stat line. He played horribly. I cannot believe that's the game we took his prop on, but that one missed. LeBron over six and a half assists. That hit. We also hit Bam Adebayo over one and a half blocks plus steals. So a two and one night last night, guys. I have three plays for you tonight. I do want to mention I snapped off my uh, laptop charger in my laptop this morning. So computer's dying soon. Got to run to Best Buy, grab a new charger. So I'm going to make this video as quick as possible so this thing doesn't die in the middle of this. Before I get into this, like, subscribe, click that notification on the Odd Shopper YouTube page if you don't mind. Also, guys, check out that link down below for prize picks. You're getting free stochastic materials along with a first deposit match all the way up to $100 with prize picks. Let's go ahead and talk about these plays. Like I said, guys, going to do it real quick for you. First play, we're going Royce O'Neal over 12.5 points plus assists. Royce O'Neal averaging 13.5 points plus assists per game in his six games with Kevin Durant out this season. In one of those games, Royce O'Neal played just 21 minutes put up five points plus assists. That is an obvious outlier, you guys, when you take that game out. He's averaged 15.2 points plus assists on 35 minutes per game. He's put up eight and a half field goal attempts, including 5.8 three-point attempts per game over these six games without KD. In terms of assisting, he has averaged 7.5 potential assists per game. O'Neal has had 11 or more points alone in four of these last six games. His last two games, guys, he had a 17 and a 19 point plus assist game. In those two games, he played 36 and a half minutes per game. He put up nine and a half field goal attempts per game. They are facing the Sixers. Joel Embiid currently questionable, guys. That would do nothing but help the competitiveness in this game. It's currently listed as a five-point spread. I like this play regardless. Final note here, guys. It's listed at minus 128 on FanDuel. I also wanted to mention this line less than 10 days ago was up to over under 16 and a half. We're now getting it at 12 and a half. I think it's a major discount. Our second play for today is going to be Shea Gilgis Alexander over 29 and a half points. SGA averaging 30.7 points per game this season in January. He's averaging 30.2 points per game. That's on 35 minutes per game. He's had 30 or more points in six of his 10 games this month. Tonight, the Thunder are facing the Hawks. That makes this a matchup between two teams that rank top seven in terms of pace this season. SGA faced this team earlier on in the season, you guys. He dropped 35 points in 35 minutes. He attempted 22 shots, so that's a good sign for this matchup. Over their last three outings, the Hawks have actually had the fifth worst defensive efficiency in the NBA. They've also allowed the fourth highest shooting percentage over their last three outings. SGA averaging 31 points per game after a two-day rest this season. He currently leads his team in usage, minutes, scoring. You guys know the drill with SGA. He's had 30 or more points in 27 of his 43 games this season. That gives the over on this line a 63% hit rate this year. Final note, guys, this place listed at minus 120 over on a couple of books. My third and final Final play for tonight is going to be Trey Jones under 10 and a half rebounds plus assist. A few notes for this play. Trey Jones has gone under this line in eight of 11 games this month and in eight of 14 games in December. In other words, Trey Jones in his last two months has played in 25 games. He's had 10 or fewer rebounds plus assists in 64% of those games. Jones has faced the Lakers three times this season. He had one game where he recorded six rebounds plus assist. He had a game where he recorded seven rebounds plus assist. And then he had a game where he recorded 21 rebounds plus assist. Wanted to note that game where he had 21 rebounds plus assist. You guys, there was literally no defense played. The final score to this game ended up being 138 to 143. I'm not expecting a score like that again. Also worth noting that the Spurs at that point in the season did have Devin Vassell on the floor in that game alone. He dropped 20 points. So that's immediately more assist opportunities for a guy like Trey Jones. He does not have the sell tonight, obviously. Trey Jones had eight rebounds in that game also, guys, but Thomas Bryant was still getting integrated into this team. They did not have Anthony Davis, but Thomas Bryant only played 18 minutes. They played Winyan Gabriel in the paint for 22 minutes that game. In January, Bryant has been solid and fully integrated into the offense, averaging around 27 minutes per game. And now the Spurs are without one of their top scoring options, unlike last time with Devin Vassell being out. Final note here, guys, it's listed at minus 130 over on DraftKings. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Again, those three plays, Royce O'Neal over 12 and a half points plus assists, Shea Gildas Alexander over 29 and a half points, Trey Jones under 10 and a half rebounds plus assists. 
that does it for me, you guys. I'm out of here. Good luck tonight with the betting. Hopefully these props hit. I'm going to head up to Best Buy, grab a charger for this laptop. You guys like, subscribe, click that notification bell. Check out the link down below in Prize Picks. You know the drill by now. We'll talk tomorrow, guys. Again, good luck tonight, and let's win these things. Later.